Hey guys, it's me, Gar. Um, <clears throat> so I was going to have this video out Monday, but I kind of wasn't home Monday, so yeah, I didn't get the chance to make it. Nor was I home yesterday. I was out enjoying the nice weather, but um, I'm gonna be starting another new series, just like to kick the channel off. And since instead of just doing one game, I'm going to get like a few different games going. Um, the Binding of Isaac, I will probably continue um, well, I'm definitely going to continue it, I just don't know when. But, um, so the game series that I'm starting to go along with um, The Binding of Isaac is a more mellow and not so graphic game but it's amazing the story is really immersive I finally I finished it last night I wanted to see what was going on in the game so I would get the story right for this series so I played through it once and so that's why I don't really have a new game I have new game plus but um it's called Bastion and it was made by Warner Brothers. I know that most of the Warner Brothers games were probably not that good. I mean, like, look at Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Or, no. I think it's Sorcerer's Stone on the PlayStation 1. That game is just terrible. And, but... <clears throat> I'm going to be working on playing this game because it's got a really immersive story. Um, main protagonist is the silent type. So it's kind of like a lot of other games. He doesn't really have a voice, per se. But it is going to be a fun project game thing I'm doing. Don't know how long it's gonna last, and most of them are pro. Most of these videos are probably gonna be a half an hour ish long. So keep that in mind. I'm not. I don't try making long videos. It's just I don't really plan ahead or have a way to edit. I mean, I probably have a way to edit. I just don't know how yet. But um, yeah. Without further ado. Here is Bastion. Okay, so here's Bastion. Um, I'm hoping it's a game that everybody likes because it is a really good game. I love this game so much. Um, but. I'm going to start this series with New Game Plus. Actually, no. I'm going to start with Normal Mode. So that... <clears throat> um, Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. I need to move my keyboard. But um, yeah, there's, this is a really the nice game. forms up under his feet as it points the way. He don't stop to wonder why. The graphics and everything were amazing. His lifelong friend, I thought. Lying in the road. And every couple of levels you come across well, a new a weapon. Reunion. Um and pretty much everything can be broken from from boxes to these walls. And he sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Um. Ugh. 
I also like when, um, every now and then when you fall off. He falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Every now and then when you fall off, um, the narrator, which, in my opinion, the voice acting in this game is amazing. Being that it could have been, like, just all robot -y and everything, this actually has really good voice acting in it. That a survivor. No man. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops it good. And basically got a piece of The plot of this game is that you are one of few survivors that survive the quote unquote calamity. Which was. That's funny because just said he will rage for a while, but um, um, basically you are one of the few survivors that survived the calamity, and it is your job to find stuff to fix the Bastion, which is. Basically, basically a safe haven from all of the bad, from the calamity. An old I don't want to spoil anything I had it too Ain't early. It from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got to hold us still to spin up the chamber. And. I really like how you get everything from range weapons to up close weapons in this game. It's, neither of these weapons are my favorite. My favorite comes in a minute. Um, probably next episode. All depending on how long this takes, because I'm just gonna. Oops. There I go, falling off. He's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Oops. I need to stop falling off. school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here. These guys can get annoying, but real early, real early in the game, they're like one hit kill. I need to heal. Um. But you also come across a couple of different potion thingies. Um, one is obviously health. Wait, I can use that again? That's cool. Okay. But right now we're going to the saloon. Where we get our shield. And... He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, got my shield back. Now. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Shield saves us high. Those things can get really annoying. The turrets. When later on in the game. Because you get practically surrounded by them. And it's really annoying. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Gonna kill these things real quick. Pops out from the kid. That windbags are playing for keeps. Kid don't go down that easy. And you get pretty much unlimited lives in this game. I need to stop doing that. This isn't a very good playthrough already, but um. Yeah, this is the the story in this game is. It's a bit of a drop. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. And go out this window, I guess. But anyway, the story is very immersive. And a lot more detailed than... a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Um, it's the story is much more immersive in my opinion than the binding of Isaac. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. No one's gonna kill these things the real quick. All the way back. Right back at you. There we go. Kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. And, yeah. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. these turrets. I'm trying to grab loose real quick. There we go. Just gonna... Bye bye. I'm not worried about breaking anything right now because I just want to mix up a few pointers from a dusty old tool. He's a mighty fast learner. And the other mo the other potions are these black tonic, which allow you to do special things like that spin around thingy. I don't think I've got anything in here because, yeah, it's just a regular new game. But when playing New Game Plus, you get all of your stuff unlocked and everything. It's kind of fun. And I understand why they put that there now. These do different things. Um. And you unlock more as you level up, which takes forever. But I'm gonna get that one because it's um, more health. And now I'm gonna go this way. Some of them squirts burning like crazy in a couple of corn bins. I'm gonna break this thing first. Really? There. Okay, so that thing's broken. Let's just do that. There we go. And... Whee! Can I turn this on? Way. The bastion's real close now. Not really worried about killing these things quite yet. Well, those ones.
so much lag. Why is there lag? There's never this much lag. But um it takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley there we and go. spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. And these things. These things are annoying. It maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Break this thing first because I'm tired of these squirts. Oh. Well, okay. Kid puts him at his misery. There we go. Gonna go and smash this thing real quick. And apologize for all the clicking. I'm, this is definitely a game that involves a lot. Okay, apparently I just fell off. But, um. This game involves a lot of clicking. Whereas with like Isaac, it's just arrows and stuff for attacking. You actually have to click for every single attack. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. I'm gonna just try breezing through this. Down he goes. And I fell. Down toward the bastion. That's actually a lot faster than going through the entire thing. Now the kids I haven't actually made it through the entire thing because everything I fall places. off. Every time I fall off. But now I'm at this place Did called the Bastion. Oops. There I go running off. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We saw a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Um, I tell him this is said that core is on the monument there. Then watch. He, this guy gives pointers and stuff throughout the entire just like that. The bastion comes alive. For stuff you find, starts growing again, growing stronger. Kids got to put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. I'm gonna make distillery first. Makes time to sample spirits from my and I life. want. Mm. I want this one. I'm just gonna go with what I did last time. Where whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a pepper boot heel. It's not for everyone. The distillery basically gives you different, um, not really attributes, but it gives you different stuff the sky to help you out. Now the kid can ride the wind the distant land. These, I'm not gonna do any of these really, because not until after I finish the story mode, I'll go back and do all these later. But, um... Yeah, that's. This was a terrible introduction to this game, and I feel like I did a dishonor starting it like this. But, um. Oops. Yeah, this is Bastion. And I'll explain more of the story as it goes along. But so far, I woke up on this floating chunk of rock and this guy talking. I don't remember his name, all it says a stranger right now. But um, basically, each level you go to has one of these things right here. They're called cores. 
And each one fixes more and more of the Bastion, which is the safe haven. Um, and your main place, basically. But each one of those allows you to add another building. Like this one was the distillery. And yeah. I don't want to say too much right now because I don't know if I'd be spoiling anything or not ahead of time, so. Yeah, this is a game that you have to go through in order to get the story better. But so far, you are one of two survivors that survived the calamity. Ha, I made it. Um that survived the calamity and so now you're sent on going and getting all the cores to restore the bastion so yeah um next episode I'll be doing the next level and so yeah um, this is Bengara, playing Let's Play Bastion, episode one. Um, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, share it if you feel like, that'd be cool too. And... Again, thanks for watching. Uh, deuces.